Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are here in the canyon biome going over how to get yourself your very own shiny Incineroar. I thought this was very um, topical as it is the Incineroar 7 star raid this weekend. Um, it's incredibly easy to get yourself one of the best shinies in the game. It's probably my second favourite starter shiny behind Big Black Charizard. Um, there we go. So we're just in the canyon biome here in the Blueberry Academy. This is the normal spot that everyone goes to to shiny hunt for Litten and uh, Turtwig. I actually have a better spot in my opinion. It has better lighting up there on that left hand side and it only spawns um, Litten. It's a little bit easy to see and it is incredibly quick um, to isolate hunt this. So obviously as we fly up here you can see it spawns a lot of different types. You can see a lot of Scyther up here um, and some other Pokemon Scraggy and things like that. Um, this is going to, he's going to go for me isn't he? Yeah. Okay, we're cutting this out because I'm a professional Pokemon YouTuber, obviously, and that's shame. So, first off, save your game and uh, dodge another Scyther. Save the game, head into your picnic, and I'll show you which sandwich to make. I'm only going to put up one here, guys. Um, there are recipes and stuff. I will put a link in the description to a page that has all the different types of sandwiches to make it a bit easier for you guys. But for this one here, you're going to go into creative mode, going to go down to basil, and then that is the only ingredient you're going to pick. And then you're going to jump across once you have selected that to use your Herba Mystica. So... For Herba Mystica here, we're going to be using the Salty and Sweet. Um, salty can be a little bit difficult uh, to get, so there will be alternates on that list I give you guys. I'm going to skip through the cutscene so you don't have to watch this bloody horrific thing. Sparkling Power, Tidal Power, Encounter Power, Fire Level 3. As soon as you close your picnic, you'll start to see those Litten spawn around. Uh, it is easier to see Litten at daytime. The nighttime can be hard because, as you can see, they do blend into the ground. You have the two preferences here. It's really up to you how you want to hunt. It will spawn all 15 on this zone, not behind you or anything like that. My recommendation here is to go use picnic resets as the best method to get as many as possible. It, it feels like it's a little bit slower, but I think with this location, it actually ends up being around the same. So as you can see, they start to spawn around pretty quickly. They will always spawn in front of you. Um, you can use the 15 or 16 method, whatever you want to call it, but obviously Litten being shiny and bright and white is pretty clear. You don't really have to be counting the Pokemon. So you can just reset once you see that you have all of those on screen. Otherwise, if you want to run around, head to the other corner, as you'll see here. It will reset them all, but they do start to spawn on that left-hand side as well, as well as being around all this general area. And I think Pokemon can spawn on the grass there. So it can be a little bit longer to do it this way. I actually don't think running around is faster for this one, um, especially at the night time when you can barely see the Litten anyway, really. Um, my advice would be to stand somewhere around here and do picnic resets. You can reset the game if you want to get rid of that um, terror, but yeah, that's fine. As you can see here, this was about 10 minutes in, we did get a shiny Litten. Um, make sure you save before you go after Litten. I did actually fail this the first time. Um, he does have Flare Blitz that I completely forgot, so do not use a, um, a false white Pokemon. I would I would prefer, I would say for you guys to be using something that either paralyzes or set it to sleep. I do get incredibly lucky here. I was actually meant to click Premier Ball through an Ultra Ball and got this on the first time, which is really nice as it does have a mark. But obviously, if you're, if you're a shiny hunter that likes to match the color of the ball against the color of the shiny, um, your Premier Ball is probably the one to go for. So as you can see there, got incredibly lucky. These are really hard to catch, to be completely honest. They have a really low catch rate. They're a high level and uh, starters don't have a very high catch percentage. So as you can see, completely forgot that you can't check the, uh, the ribbon on that part. But we're going to go into the summary, guys, see what we got. Um, hopefully we get something good. Let's see. It was a pretty quick hunt, so I'm not really too fast. Uh, yeah, boring. Um, sociable mark, who cares? There you go guys, go get your very own shiny Incineroar, just remember to evolve it up, nothing special, just use some rare candies and you will have your very own shiny white tiger. Hope this video was helpful guys, if it was, please leave us a like and subscribe. We do all terror raids each weekend, we also do lots of shiny hunting and Pokemon news. We'll see you in the next one guys, peace.